Oh, hi. Today we're going to be exploring and playing with the Chase Bliss Audio blooper pedal. The blooper pedal is marketed as a looper, but to me it feels more like a extremely loop capable tape echo or tape delay emulator that also has the option of adding in some really fun lo-fi and glitchy effects. In my opinion, it is an excellent pedal, and sometimes with excellence comes a learning curve. And if you want to use this thing to its full potential, there definitely is a learning curve. Speaking of full potential, fair warning, you will not see every single feature of this pedal in this video. For example, it has a sampler mode, which is of little to no use to me personally. So without further ado, let's hear it.
All right, a quick rundown of what's going on here. The volume is a volume and mix knob. The ramping is not being used in this video, but you might find it useful, so definitely give it a Google one. Layers is interesting. It's a bit like an undo knob that allows you to revisit something that you had recorded over a few minutes ago. It kind of reminds me of the position knob on clouds, but much, much longer. Repeats is essentially feedback. If you turn it to 100%, it never stops looping. If you turn it all the way down, it will only repeat once. Stability is a fake but very convincing tape aging emulation. To be honest, it's probably the best I've heard in a pedal. The left button records or triggers between recording or playing back, and the right button stops. Now, the mod knobs. You get to use three types of effect for each mod knob, which are switchable via the toggle switch below the knobs. Then, there are two buttons on the bottom side of the pedal which allow you to apply the mods, either while recording or not. Now, on the top side of the pedal, there are some small switches which let you choose between alternative mod banks or you can enable or disable other various options. And finally, you can customize a whole lot more by plugging the pedal into a USB port of your computer. Let's get back to it.
So what do you think? Personally, I like it a lot and I really enjoyed the time that I spent playing with it. I think that it is quite possibly one of the funnest pedals that I've ever played with. And while it is fun and powerful and innovative, there is one downside that I could think of. I would say that Chase Bliss Audio is still a boutique company and some of their newer pedals do not come cheap and the blooper retails for 500 US dollars. If it were a stereo pedal, this would be a lot more digestible, but for a single signal chain, this does seem a little pricey to me. But on the other hand, it is a super unique pedal for a very limited demographic. It started as a Kickstarter project and the price might just be the downside of of reality. If this video intrigued you and you're thinking about buying it and you want to know every single thing there is to know about the blooper pedal, check out Knob's videos on it. Not only does he take an extremely deep dive into every single feature, it's also partially his concept and idea. I'd like to give a shout out to Perfect Circuit. They're one of my favorite music gear retailers. And if you want to buy this pedal, there is a link in the description. Me having a sort of partnership with them allows you, my subscriber, to say, Ben, I want you to cover this. And then me say, Perfect Circuit, can you send one over for me to borrow and check out? Done deal pretty nice arrangement. And of course, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. If there's anything you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. If you want access to a bunch of audio assets and music making tools and VIP coupons to a bunch of software and hardware companies or an invite to a massive Discord server that has everything from private game servers to music making group projects, then my Patreon is for you and you could join our amazing community for as little as a dollar. Okay, have a good day. Bye.